Good afternoon, dear viewers. I'm happy to welcome you on Savoma's channel. And here is Alexander Sudorov as always. We are standing over a smooth, clear field. And this is the back of the building. We are standing on the ramp and can see the finished base for asphalt paving. Naturally, sand and gravel will be put down here. And there is still a lot of work to be done, but it is already prepared and leveled out. We also see grounding work, which I think will be shown in the video. And we will now walk around the building. Now that we are talking about the grounding work, we are going to move to the other side, which is the left side of the building, if you look at the front entrance. What do we see here? First of all, the presence of a temporary road, it has been laid again. All the utilities related to water supply and storm sewerage and so on have already been installed. Now we need to install telemetry, internet and all low-voltage networks. Also, now where we have a deep electrical connection to the building, namely four doors behind which transformers are hidden, we are preparing the grounding of the connection and getting it ready, so that the wires can already go inside. Once this work is done, we will have stable power on all fronts, so to speak, which is great. Next, we see a very interesting picture. All hatches are already at ground zero. In the near future, it will also be possible to begin dismantling the slabs of the temporary road to make the final leveling of the site and to make preparations for the installation of the future asphalt. We still have to deal with the utilities that will be necessary for the installation of external lighting, that is, lampposts and so on. By the way, before we go too far, Let's go back to the ramp. What we can see is that there is already a window to see the neighbors through the back of the site, so to speak. The thing is that the temporary fence has been dismantled, or rather part of it, and dismantling will continue. So the work is also moving in that direction. But we are going back to the construction site, to the remains of it, in front of the main entrance of the building. Here you can see that the site has already been leveled and the vibratory plate is already in operation. I hope that you can get a picture of that too, but unfortunately work on the vibratory plate was already finished when we were shooting the video now. Perhaps later we will be able to film and insert these shots into this video. We can also see the vehicle that has been unloaded. And it is the radiators to begin the work now, but more about that later. Let's move to the right side of the entrance to the building. And there is a lot of excavation work. We can see that the trays that were installed earlier, they have been installed on a special base on the subconcrete. The trays themselves are also waterproofed and backfilled with sand. And we can already see the pipe welding, which is one of the key works at the moment. Because the fence will soon be dismantled, and the connection to the offset utilities we were working on earlier will be made. As soon as this work is completed, we can start introducing the hot water supply into the building. Consequently, we need to install the necessary equipment for this, but this process is also just around the corner. You can see the sewer manholes, expansion joints, and of course the sealed chamber, through which the heat will be introduced. And now we are moving on to the building, or to be more precise, to the ground floor of the administrative and utilities building, 
and we can see the continuation of works on installation of interior glass partitions. The installation of the frames continues, and the finishing work continues. The staircases are being finished, or rather, the shafts, both inside and out. Somewhere they have already been painted, somewhere they are being prepared for painting, some of them have already been nailed up with planks. It is done so that our builders and our workers do not damage the final finish of the walls. We are also going up to the mezzanine, or the first floor, and here we can see that tiles have been laid. It is a flooring that is no different from what we have in the production part of the building. We can also see that the electrical network is also fairly complete. If we go up to the second floor of the administrative and utilities building, we can see that the distribution of the heating systems on the second floor has been completed. These red corrugations are all the necessary utilities. Electrification is also completed, and we can see all hanging wires waiting for finishing, and they will be connected to what is written in the project. I mean, lights and sockets, and much more. Now we are moving to the first floor of the administrative and utilities building, and we can see that heating works have also started here, so there is a lot of work being done including the final stage of lift installation. It only remains to do the acceptance works, and then it will be possible to use the lifts. So, I hope this video was useful and interesting for you. Make sure you subscribe to our social networks, write comments, participate in the life of the project, and of course, write your suggestions about what works, large or not large scale, you think will be implemented in the first place. And where, for example, the gym for staff will be located. For example. Thank you. See you soon.